Hello students, welcome back. This question is from 2011 exam. It has two parts, two marks for each part. That means in total it is for four marks. So let us first read the statement. Consider the following circuit involving three D-type flip-flops used in certain type of counter configuration. If at some instance prior to the occurrence of the clock edge P, Q and R have values 0, 1, 0 respectively. What shall be the values of P, Q, R after the clock edge? Okay. So you can see I am displaying this diagram here. Just have a look. Whatever is the output R, this output R is connected to input of the first flip flop. Okay. So I am doing it. Next you can see this output P and this output R. We are taking NOR of these two and that is the input for second flip flop. Okay. So this is a NOR gate. And we are performing NOR of P and R. Okay. Let's see what is this input. It is AND of R bar comma Q. Yeah. So this is R. This one will be R bar. R bar and Q. This input is Q. Okay. So we have completed the diagram. This diagram is now simplified version of whatever was given in the question. Now they were saying the initial values of P, Q and R are 0, 1, 0. Okay. So P is 0, Q is 1, R is 0. Okay. Let us see what will happen when a clock signal is given. See R 0 and P0. What will be the NOR of 0 and 0? It will be 1. Okay. So this D input is 1. I am writing 1 here. This is 0. That means this one R bar is 1. So this input of AND gate is 1 as well as Q is 1. AND of 1 and 1 is 1. So this is also 1. Okay. And R is 0 which is connected as it is without any modification. That means this input is also 0. Now as soon as a clock signal is given, what will D flip flop do? It is just going to transfer this input as it is as the new output. Okay. So this input is 0. 0 will be going, 0 is going to be the new output P. Okay. So after clock, the new value of P is 0. After clock signal, new value of Q will be 1. Okay, this input will be transferred as the output. So I am writing 1 here. Okay, this is 0, this is 1. And this one will be transferred here. Okay. So answer to the first part is 0, 1, 1. Let us see which option is correct. It is option D, 0, 1, 1. So the new state after the state 0, 1, 0 will be 0, 1, 1. Now let me display second part of this question. It reads, if all flip-flops were reset to 0 at power on, what is the total number of distinct outputs or states represented by PQR generated by the counter? Okay. So we need to determine mod of this counter if it begins from 0, 0, 0. Okay. So initially, they are saying PQR are 0. Let's write 0 in place of PQ and R. This one is 0, this is 0 and this is also 0. Now if one of the inputs of AND gate is 0, that means its output is also going to be 0. R is 0 will be transferred here as it is. Okay. 0 and 0. When we take NOR of these two, the output will be 1. 
Now after given clock signal, this zero will be the new output P. So P will be zero. And this one will be transferred into the output of Q. So Q is one. This is one. This zero will be the new value of R or the next value of R. Okay, so this output will be zero. That means if current state is zero, if you give a clock signal, you will reach on zero, one, zero, which is two. So from zero, next state is going to be two. Okay. So you can just keep on checking the next values by giving a clock signal or you can simply draw this table. Let's practice how can we draw such tables. See, this is the current state and this is what will happen upon giving a clock signal. Now have a look. Whatever is the value of R will be transferred as it is in next value of P whenever we give a clock signal. So R will be copied as it is in this column. I'm doing that. Okay, this is done. Now we will perform NOR of P and R. That will be the new value of Q. Okay. So in this column, you have to write NOR of P and R. Okay. See 0 or 0 will be 0. And if we take complement of OR, we will get NOR. So NOR of 0, 0 is 1. Similarly, let me just fill it. So you can see this is done. Now let's calculate what will be the next value of R if we give a clock signal. See, next value of R is dependent on current value of Q and current value of R, which means R complement. So we need R complement and Q's and, okay. This one and this one is ended. So first let me write what is R complement. R complement is one, zero, one and so on. This column, it's R complement and we have Q here. Their and will be the next value of R. Let me do that. So you can see this table has been filled. You can just start this question by filling the table. Whatever I discussed earlier was actually not required, but I discussed it because I want to explain it in a more intuitive way. Okay. So a part of this question was if initial value is 0, 1, 0. Let us see where do we have 0, 1, 0. This is 0, 1, 0. So next state is 0, 1, 1. The answer to a part is 0, 1, 1. B part is if we start from 0, we start from here. What is the mod of counter? So from 0, next state that you are going to see is 2. So 0 goes to 2. Now if you are on 2, a clock is given, you will go to state 3. Next one is 3. If you are on state 3, you will go to state 4. Next one is state 4. If you are on 4, you will go back to state 0. So just draw this loop. Okay. We will keep on looping between these four values only if initial state is zero. That means in the loop, you have four states. Okay. One, two, three, four. The mod value of this counter will be four. Answer to B part of this question is mod four. Okay. So you can see mod four is option B. Option B is four. That is your answer. Still, let's complete this uh, counting sequence. So five is not present in this. Let's see what happens if you are currently on state five. Five goes to four. Okay. So five goes to four. Six goes to one. So one is also not there in this loop. Six goes to one. Okay. And let us see what happens on seven. Seven also goes to four. And let us see which one of them. Okay, one 
what is the next state on one one also goes to four okay so you can see we have completed the counting sequence okay so from here you can notice that this counter is a self starting counter what do i mean by that you start from any state either from here 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 or here from any state or any one state from this you will automatically enter the counting loop if you start from this state 1 2 after 2 clocks you are in the counting loop this is counting loop okay you can begin from any state counting loop will surely be reached that's the reason this is a self starting counter even though this was not asked still i am discussing is it a free running counter no it's not because every number or every state is not a part of counting loop anyways let me still repeat the answers answer to first question was this this will be the next state from here and answer to second question is mod 4 because it has four states and counting loop okay 